welcome back to Get Fit with Candy. In the last video, we learned how to do a two-leg Romanian deadlift or your primal movement, hip hinge. By keeping your feet hip width apart, your hip moves back, your hip moves forward. So today, we are going to take you from two legs to one leg. So here is actually how it's going to look like. The two-leg version, as you're familiar with, we are pushing the hip back, engaging your glutes, your hamstring, and then when we extend the hip forward, you're going to stand upright. The one leg version, remember, we're still using the same muscle group. You're still using your glute, your hamstring, except that instead of bringing two feet on the ground, you're only gonna have one leg on the ground, and stand up. The leg that is on the ground, that's your supporting leg. You are going to be using the hamstring and the glute of the supporting leg. So let's break it down on how to do this so that we can do this unassisted. So for today, we are actually going to have some help. Notice that I have a bench here. You can also use a dining room chair, something that is about knee height, perfect. So what you're going to do is at the setup, instead of like a two leg, you're going to have your feet hip width apart. This time you're going to bring your feet together. I like to stand right in front of my bench, feet together, and keeping the two feet on the ground, I'm going to push my hip back. Hey, the bench is just right in front of me, so I'm going to push my hand onto the bench to give me some support, and then I will lift one leg behind me, and then to stand up, using the supporting leg, stand right up. Once more, feet together, push the hip back, hand on the bench, one leg up, and using my leg that is on the ground, stand up using the glute and the hamstring. So how do we actually uh, get it correct? So there are actually a couple of things that I actually, a common mistake that I noticed. One of them is as follows. Bend over, hands on the bench. Well, I'm a bit unbalanced, so I'm just gonna put my feet down and then I'm gonna finish standing up. The timing is actually a very, very important issue here because instead of standing up using your hip, you put your foot down so that your two feet are on the ground and then you finish by standing up. So making sure that the foot that is off the ground is actually one of the last thing that touch the ground. So last thing that touch the ground, boom. That's common mistake number one. Common mistake number two is what happened with your hips. So if you look at me from the front, you're going to notice that when I do the one leg Romanian deadlift, my hips are level. I'm gonna place my hand here so that it's easier for you to see. Hips are level, and hips are still level. The two sides of my hip, they maintain level at all times. However, for a lot of us, because doing um, exercise on one leg, we're not very, very good with the balance just yet. So what we try to do is that we try to compensate. Well, I'm not very stable, so I'm going to do, going to use my stronger muscles in the outer thigh to help us. You notice that my hip is actually this side, much higher than that side. So the idea of using the bench is that when you bend over, it has a balance, uh, some help for you so that you can keep your hip um, level as opposed to doing this. So that is actually a second mistake that I notice very often. So practice doing the single leg Romanian deadlift, two leg down, support, one leg up, hip level. When you are very, very good with this exercise, next week we are going to learn how to progress this even further so that we can do this with only one leg unassisted. See you next time.